Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today EA's first patch, first real patch because we had a, a live tuning update that, to be fair, did adjust the dribbling from some of the cards and it did make the game a little bit more playable, to be honest. Like it was a live tuning update. If you, I don't know if you guys saw that, but it was like in the message in the game, probably like a week or so ago. But um, yeah, we have uh, the first big gameplay patch as well as some ultimate team fixes and stuff so very curious to see what uh ea actually thought of uh for the first patch right so uh fifa ultimate team made the following changes added a chemistry indicator appearing on player items when previewing a swap between out of position player items that's good because um in i think in the web app version of the game uh, or the web app version of the game, the web app of the game, you can actually see what the chemistry does to each individual player. So I think they're just adding that into the ultimate team game, like when you're actually on your console or PC. Uh, removed pack opening animations when redeeming stadium items from objectives, uh, division rivals, squad battles, and foot champions rewards. Good. The only time you guys should do pack animations for uh, the items that you're receiving is for special cards, okay? For instance, if you're unlocking like a storyline card, then sure, you can do an animation for that. But everything else, it's super, super unnecessary to have to watch a pack opening animation for those things. But for individual player items, yes, it's really cool. But more so back in the day than now, because storylines are not that good nowadays, you know, the ones that they provide. But yeah, uh, removed pack opening animation. Oh, excuse me. Removal. Uh, removed several screens that would appear before playing individual foot moments. I never experienced foot moments yet. I probably should to get the rewards, but you know, uh, a player item secondary positions are now uh, visible in the top left part of the screen when using the actions radial menu. Updated the top 200 crest displayed in squad battles. Address the following issues. Some SBC rewards uh, were missing the untradeable label. Yes, that's true. I, I noticed that a lot. Uh, this was a visual issue only in SBCs with untradeable awards were referenced as such in SBC descriptions. They were uh, the do not show this message again option did not affect what uh, when perf uh, did not take effect when performing uh, squad actions on the squad screen. Yeah, they still did that. Uh, the in-game scoreboard did not always display correctly in squad battles. Some ball items did not display correctly after purchasing a stadium items bundle. The third tier foot stadium could be seen in the background until exiting and re-entering foot. The help button callout did not function correctly on the squad screen. Address the stability issue that could occur when inviting players and online friendlies. And then for PC, address some instances of a stability issue that it could occur when opening packs. So the menu stuff is good. Like that stuff for the chemistry building is really good. So here is an absolute ton of information for the gameplay stuff, right? I The problem with, that I have with gameplay, and this is going to be another year of it, is that I've already showed you guys in the Road to Glory videos. I've already showed you guys in the gameplay rants video. Inconsistent gameplay is still an issue in FIFA. Honestly, if they were to mainly focus on that and how to fix it, which I think is obviously super complicated on their part now because they've never fixed it. Um, I think it would solve a lot of the issues in the game when it comes to dribbling response and the way the players move and stuff. But unfortunately, um, it's just not going to be a thing that's going to be fixed. Let's be real. They're not going to do anything. Uh, but let's see what the gameplay changes are. Uh, chipped penalty shots can only be performed towards the middle third section of the goal. Adjusted chip penalty shot ball trajectories to be less lofted overall. Improve the likelihood of standing tackles winning the ball back. So that's a big one. This is a very, very big one. Improve the likelihood of standing tackles winning the ball back. That's very important. That's a huge one, okay? Because that's been something that I've been complaining about since the very beginning. The manual tackles have been slightly improved in regards to animation choices, but they're still really bad. So that's a really big improvement. Uh, increase the ball velocity for all ground passes. That's a big one, too, that actually makes the game play faster. Um, yeah, so that's pretty interesting. Increased accuracy of chip shots. That's a good one, too. This is actually this is absolutely amazing for sure. Reason being for that is because the amount of times I hit the post while trying to go for the corner of the, the goal is uh, astronomically high. Uh, penalty kicks taken when the composure ring is red is are very likely to miss the goal entirely. I mean, that makes sense. That's their mechanic, right? Uh, the CPU AI is more likely to play a direct tactical style on pro, world class, and legendary difficulties. Not important for people who don't care about squad battles and stuff. Wait, it's really, okay. The assisted header, uh, assisted header setting no longer impacts headed passes. It only impacts headers uh, requested with a shot input. The pass assistance setting uh, continues to determine the level of assistance pr present on the headed passes. Uh, the semi-assisted uh, pass assistance setting continues set to set headed passes to be assisted, so there's no option for semi-assisted headed passes. Okay, 
address the following issues. Goalkeepers could sometimes react too quickly to certain shots. Oh, that's going to be a big change. That's going to be a big change. Goalkeepers could sometimes react too quickly to certain shots. Hmm. That's a goalkeeper buff. So we'll see what that does in game. Uh, in some cases, shoulder challenges from behind did not result in a foul. Being called when it should have been. Yes, that happens a lot from behind. Um, sometimes goalkeepers position themselves too far off the goal line when attempting to save long shots. Interesting. That could be an adjustment to the L trigger long shots, maybe. Because they're changing their positioning. So we'll see. Uh, in some difficult defensive heading scenarios, players could miss the header, especially when under pressure from an opposing player. I've seen that sometimes too. Uh, when attempting to run back to the goal line to save a chip shot, goalkeepers could have incorrectly attempted to catch the ball instead, instead of like kind of diving and like just tipping it out. Uh, improved dribbling animation transitions after taking a stumble touch on the ball. That's a good one, actually. So once you've received pressure, their animation is better to get back into it. Okay. Uh, goalkeepers were sometimes unable to save shots aimed very close to their bodies. That happens quite a bit. Um, if the shot is poor, then obviously, you know, like if it's if it's a poor angle you're shooting from and it hits the middle, then yeah, it probably should save it, right? There's some that they're they're doing a goalkeeper buff. This is a goalkeeper buff, which can be a little bit concerning, a little bit. But if you take the right strikes, not a big deal. As long as you're hitting the side positions and whatnot, then um, we'll see. We'll see what's up with that. Um, okay. Some ground passes could result in the ball traveling at faster than intended velocities. Yeah, this is the ground passes is super inconsistent in regards to the power as well as uh, the accuracy. It's both of those. Power is super inconsistent, man. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, Three-star skill move players with a sprint speed and acceleration above 85 cannot perform a fake shot from a sprint. Ah, that's why it did, like it was an actual thing. I thought it was a registration thing. I, I, even my last Road to Glory episode, I showed you guys. I was, I was, I was like, why is like why is a command just not work sometimes? You know. So yeah, that's interesting. Interesting, interesting. Uh, in rare cases, the ball carrier could sprint over the ball and lose control of it. That happens quite a bit too. Uh, improved referee logic when calling fouls inside the box. That's a big one. Uh, sometimes goals scored during a playable highlight did not count towards the scoreline. I've never seen that before. Uh, in, rare, in, uh, in rare situations during a match with a goal difference of three or more, the referee could incorrectly end the match during added time during the middle of an attack. Never seen that either. Uh, goalkeepers could have incorrectly deflected the ball into the net when attempting to save a shot in some rare situation. That depends because there was um, a goal that we scored with Diaby yesterday for the Road to Glory where I did a ball roll. He did manual goalkeeping to the left side. His goalie went slightly back to the right side, but then we still scored because we went to the left side. So that animation was a good thing that happened because he moved his goalkeeper to the left and him saving it doesn't make sense if he did that decision. You know what I'm saying? I hate when a person can use manual goalkeeping to one side and then go back quickly to the other side. That's stupid. Once you make that decision, it should be locked. It's like, that's it. You cannot do anything. It's locked for a little bit before he goes back in the video game concept, right? Um, but I liked that I scored that. So we'll see what's up with that. You know, that was like one situation when it happened. Um, playable highlight did not to account towards the scoreline in rare situation during match with goal difference of three. Uh, goalkeepers following a pass, a player switch could not be requested in some situations. That happened quite a bit, going to be honest. Uh, when requesting a tackle while behind the ball carrier, sometimes a blocking animation could occur. That happens, yes. Uh, improved referee logic when determining foul calls as a result of blocking animations. Okay. Uh, in some scenarios, the power shot animation could be transitioned out of. In some scenarios, the power shot animation could be could not be transitioned out of. Oh, I guess like when you're doing like a cancel afterwards, maybe. Improved referee logic when choosing to call for a foul if the ball was won by the defender. Sorry, back to business. Um, uh, logic to a foul if the ball was won by the defender. Increase effectiveness of tackles when performed on an idle ball carrier. Oh, you finally do that. Okay. An idle ball carrier is someone who's literally not playing the game, right? The tackles have been horrible for years for people that are not playing the game. This is not a skill issue, okay? It's literally impossible to get the ball back properly from it. So that's good. Um, what, did I skip something here? Increased effectiveness of tackles when performed on an idle ball carrier. Yeah, some tackling animations could incorrectly occur again after completion. Uh, the CPU AI would sometimes not pass to the locked human controlled player when requested to during corners. 
Uh, some goalkeeper animations did not display correctly. Improved referee logic to allow for an advantage situation if a goalkeeper was fouled while holding the ball. Um, improve the positioning of the human controlled player at the start of playable highlights when locked to a single player. When dribbling close to the sideline, the ball carrier is more likely to keep the ball in play when late direction changes are requested. Thank goodness, because sometimes they literally don't want to touch the ball when you're like just about to go out. It's really weird. Uh, improve referee logic when determining foul calls following a goal carrier making contact with ball carriers. Sometimes low powered shots could result in a slightly unintended ball trajectory. I mean, I noticed that from sometimes your sensitivity for like finesse shots and stuff is super weird. Like that Bernardo Silva one I had yesterday, well, I don't understand it. Uh, certain first time ground passes could be sent to the wrong player. Literally have conceded goals because of that. So that's good. Uh, address instances of skill games not functioning, functioning as intended. In rare scenarios when the uh, defender was, wasn't close to the ball carrier, the ball carrier could have performed an unrequested contextual animation attempting to get the ball around the defender's leg. Uh, in some cases, players could unintentionally make poor shot contact with the ball following a mistouch. Improved referee logic when deciding to call a foul due to accidental contact between players. Uh, improved player selection logic for high-powered law passes. Oh, so they're making that even more effective. That's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Uh, hmm. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Definitely going to need meta defenders. I tell you guys this all the time for this year's game. Uh, when taking a low-powered penalty kick, the player's foot can sometimes go through the ball. This was a visual issue only. Sometimes a goalkeeper could catch the ball with one hand instead of two. Visual issue only. Improve referee logic when determining foul calls while the ball carrier was standing still. Uh, some bicycle kick animations did not display correctly. Career mode. Don't care too much about. In my case, pro calls well to football. Don't care. General audio issues. Did they fix the settings not being saved? Because that's Pro Clubs, that's Volta, that's Career Mode. General Audio Visual made the following changes. Uh, updated some ball kits. And uh, background is Okay, that's important. Pausing an EA TV video could launch Career Mode. Quick kickoff controller settings are not always saved. Ah, the uh, there it is. Okay. Kickoff controller settings did not always save if they were changed on the match preview and side select screens. Good. Finally. The keep resetting, man. It's so annoying. Uh, in rare situations, goalkeeper reacted to a goal being scored as if it were being shot that missed the net. Uh, during goal celebrations, if no buttons were pressed, the goalkeeper could sometimes move erratically. When the ball went out of play, it could have incorrectly disappeared for a moment. In some cutscenes, the manager could be speaking to an incorrect player. In some cases, the depth of field effect did not display correctly. During goal celebrations, some members of the crowd did not display correctly. Address various stability issues that could sometimes occur. Uh, okay, so... That's an interesting patch, patch for the most part. Um, so they have uh, buffed goalkeepers and buffed manual tackles. That's interesting. The buffed goalkeepers, I'm curious to see how that works. Um, but these are massive changes. Yeah, these are absolutely massive changes. I know I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to be that guy. Uh, you know what it is? They're not... With, the, with what I'm seeing, they're not drastically changing, like, some of the good core stuff in the game, which is a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's actually very, very important that they're not changing, like, the, the good core stuff. Because the core stuff is there this year. Like, honestly, this is probably the most enjoyable FIFA I've played in the last, like, couple of years. But it's I, I, I always have trouble saying this because I still have a really big issue with the responsiveness thing. It, it, the thing is that every single year, right? I always make a gameplay video talking about responsiveness and quickness of the game and how EA need to need to change it. It's literally just inconsistent gameplay again. We just get the worst end of the stick more than we get the good end of the stick. You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's what really happens. Because yesterday when I was playing, I was flying. You know what I'm saying? Like my dribbles were coming off. You know, sure, each player has their own animation choices for sure, but everything was coming off. The attacking AI was working, the shooting was working, the passes was working. Today I have a Road to Glory episode where I was playing earlier in the morning and it, was, it wasn't good gameplay. I was winning the games comfortably, but it just wasn't, you know? And that's honestly the main issue of the game. Uh, I hate that, honestly, our community doesn't talk about it enough. I tell you guys this every single year. People ignore it. They literally bury it as much as possible. Um, 
it's genuinely insane that people don't talk about it because it's really crazy. The community always says that it's this or that. I'm just going to tell you guys that a lot of you are completely wrong on every single suggestion that you make. It is, and this is from a person that has dealt with it for like 10 plus years, okay? It is a core issue within the game itself. It's some sort of coding issue that they have in the game from back in the day. You know how, you know, you know how FIFA back in the day used to have like um they used to have like that code for like momentum and shit or whatever something is messed up in the core of the game for that to still be an issue because it is actual animation choices that has changed from your players like more emphasis on the ball and stuff you know like you can feel it so yeah uh i'm always going to mention this in every gameplay patch video because that is the main issue with the game like they can always fix the core gameplay mechanics like they do in this stuff but if we always have good game, like if you if this patch is as good as it's saying, right, for certain things, like especially with the manual challenges, like that's a big one. And I had good gameplay all the time. This would be one of the best FIFAs I've ever played. Honestly, it really would be. Because uh, good gameplay, it fixes a lot of the issues with the uh, responsiveness, control, the dribbling. It fixes a lot of it. But you just don't get it that often. A lot of people don't. And I know that they don't because people have been complaining about the dribbling constantly. But it's just the game being weird again, you know? So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.